Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to be talking about another reason why I don't want kids and this reason is all about that the mother has the most responsibility when it comes to having a kid and raising kids. So before I really go into this video I just want to say I'm talking about how it is in most scenarios in this video. I'm not saying that there aren't fathers out there who kills it and actually does all of the work. I'm just saying most of the time, sadly, it is the mother who does most of the work and has most of the responsibility when it comes to their kids. So just to go right into the video, I think it's really important that we talk about this topic because it is socially accepted that we expect the mother to do most of the work and have most of the responsibility for the kids. And I hope that this is something you start to talk about more because the social expectations for the mom and dad needs to be changed. The mother does not need to like most of the work when it comes to the kid. The father should definitely begin to do more. But I also think it's really important to talk about because I think a lot of women fall into the trap that when they talk with their partner about having kids, that the partner says he will do half of the work. But when they actually get the kid, most of the time it is the mother doing most of the work. I'm sorry if there's some background noises, it's just my pets. And I think that these expectations should change, but I also think that people need to know that this is the way it is. So if you're having a kid with a man, you'll probably be doing most of the work. So if you want to have a kid, you need to look at this as if you're the one doing most of the work before you get a kid. You have to ask yourself, do I want to be the one doing most of the work? Because if you're a woman and in a relationship with a man, you probably will be doing most of the work because that's just something that is socially expected of you. I'm the one in our home who takes the most responsibility when it comes to our pets and our home. And this happens even though we have delegated the jobs we need to do at home. For example, my boyfriend is the one who cooks and I'm the one who cleans the dishes afterwards. But even though we have delegated these kind of jobs that the practical kind of jobs that needs to be done every week, I'm still the one who takes the most responsibility. This is not to say that my boyfriend doesn't do his share of work in our home, but this is just to say that I always find myself doing more of the practical stuff in the home and doing more for the pets than my boyfriend does. And I can just imagine if we have kids, I would just be afraid that I would start presenting my boyfriend if we got kids because I was I would probably be the one, the one taking the most responsibility. I'm afraid that getting a kid would affect our relationship in a negative way and I never want to risk that because we have a great relationship. So it is just really another big reason that I don't want kids. But going more into depth with this topic, I found an article where they have brought in some research that a sociologist named Kirsten Ways, merely I just need her name up here. She's from Norway. Because the researcher Kirsten Weiss-Mebby is from Norway, her study is also made in Norway. And this study is referenced in the article I use in this video. And she interviewed some couples that had the perfect settings for gender equality, but even though the woman still had the most responsibility for the kids. Even though there were the perfect settings for gender equality, the mother still did most of the work. She says in a quote, The mothers in my selection of participants generally took more responsibility for their children socially and morally than the fathers did. She also talks about parental leave is something that can change this scenario a bit. Because if the father takes more than 10 weeks of a continuous parental leave, it will strengthen the father's ability to sense the child's needs. Therefore, he will also take more responsibility for the kids. But a lot of the times, they don't take a continuous period of parental leave. And it is mothers that takes the parental leave. And therefore, it's also them that takes most of the responsibility still. And in general, there's just more expectations from society that the mother is the one who should take the most responsibility for the kids. For example, the kindergarten often had the mother's number and not the father's number. And they often wanted to talk to the mother and not the father because they expected the mother knows the most about the kid. 
and takes more responsibility for the kid than the father. And the mother also claims the responsibility for the kids when the fathers disclaim the responsibility. This sociologist also talks about how much of the reason behind women's sickness or absence from work is because the mother takes the most responsibility for the kid. So there's an uneven distribution between the parents when it comes to their responsibility for their kids. And mothers often don't want the responsibility alone, but they end up with it nonetheless. And this fact is ignored, she says. But this was a really interesting topic, guys. I really hope you enjoyed the video and if you have something to say about the topic, please leave it down below. Especially if you have some kind of other research that has been done on this topic. Please leave it down below in the comment section. Please start a conversation down below in the comment section and please keep a friendly zone down below. And if you're new to my channel, my name is Catherine and I do content all about being child free by choice and all about living an intentional life so if that sounds interesting to you please stick around and subscribe thank you so much for watching this video and i'll see you soon guys